Earth. Our home planet provides finite resources that allow life to thrive. Species need food, water, and air to live. Air, as we all know, is a mixture of gases, namely argon, nitrogen, oxygen, and other trace gases. These gases make up the atmosphere that we have wondered today. Oxygen, however, wasn't always abundant in the Earth's atmosphere. It tends to react with other atmospheric gases and minerals on the Earth's surface. Oxygen was being removed faster than it was being produced. Cyanobacteria, photosynthetic microbes, established itself on Earth. These species of microbes were capable of using the sun's energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into food with oxygen gas as a waste product. By producing oxygen, earlier microbes created conditions that allowed more complex forms of life to thrive. The outcome was so profound that high in the atmosphere, the abundance of oxygen formed a shielding layer of ozone which screened out damaging ultraviolet radiation from the sun and made Earth's surface habitable. Nearer the ground, the presence of breathable oxygen opened the door to the evolution of whole new forms of life. The oxygen cycle, along with the carbon and nitrogen cycle, play an essential role in the existence of life on Earth. It is a biogeochemical process that maintains the presence of oxygen in the three main spheres of the Earth, the atmosphere, the biosphere, and the lithosphere. The oxygen cycle is the movement of oxygen through various forms in nature. It begins with the process of photosynthesis in the presence of sunlight, where oxygen gets released into the air. Aerobic organisms then use free oxygen to respire and return it to the air as carbon dioxide. It is taken up again by algae and terrestrial green plants, and the process of photosynthesis takes place. Unfortunately, human action has done a great deal of damage to this cycle. Man's activities have left a distinct mark in the three main spheres of the Earth. Major anthropogenic impacts include the excessive release of carbon dioxide and consumption of oxygen from the burning of fossil fuels and deforestation of land where the production of oxygen is reduced. The burning of fossil fuels refers to the burning of crude oil, natural gas, and coal to produce energy. Humans use this to power transportation such as cars, planes, and other industrial processes. Deforestation, on the other hand, occurs to make space for agriculture and for animal grazing, to obtain wood for fuel, manufacturing, and construction. Although, for human causes, this can cause severe consequences for the succeeding generation. Abundance of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere can trap heat and cause global warming that leads to climate change. Epigenetics, the study of changes in gene expression, is responsive to cycles in the environment. The environment can dictate our gene mutation because it could impose types of stress that could damage the DNA and make it mutate. Problems dealt by humans can lead to severe consequences in society's daily life, such as climate change, land degradation, water pollution, and diseases due to these epigenetic effects. Furthermore, environmentally induced epigenetic changes affect how people age and their vulnerability to diseases. As mentioned earlier, the constant usage of fossil fuels slowly poisons the atmosphere, which critically affects the human health. This prolonged exposure to carbon dioxide in the body can cause headaches, confusion, anxiety, drowsiness, increased respiratory rate, and metabolic stress. But what can we do about these problems? How can we prevent them? Fortunately for us, we can make choices in the present that could benefit the future generation of humans. We could take care of our trees and plant more to increase our oxygen supply and innovate new ways of recycling. 
keeping our hydrosphere clean, we also significantly affect our atmosphere cleanliness because the ocean's algae absorbs carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Lastly, lessening our fossil fuel usage can help us alleviate the effects of global warming and climate change, thus mitigating its dangers to society. As long as we take care of our environment, there's nothing to worry about. Today, we've learned about the value of the atmosphere for all life on Earth, the oxygen cycle, the anthropogenic effects, its consequences to society, and what we could do in the present to build a stronger and more robust future. With that being said, let us save and protect our planet.